Hey guys, Ben Versteek from ByteLight and today I want to share with you some experiences with several ROM types on a Harlequin 128K kit. Um, some people were asking me if it was possible to use a ZX Spectrum 48K ROM in a Harlequin 128 kit uh, because they're um, easier to get, they're cheaper, uh, I offer some on my webshop and of course the uh, original Toastrack ROM will be hard to obtain. And I don't want anyone to abuse their toast rack, of course, or a plus two um, for um, completing a Harlequin kit. So it's far more easy to use a 48k ROM, since I have plenty of them in my webshop and maybe some of you have, for example, a defective ZX Spectrum 48k or 16k even and want to use that ROM instead. And I want to show you that it will work just fine with uh, this Harlequin 128k kit especially with playing games and that sort of thing. So let's get it on. All right, so here's my setup for this test. Uh, I've got two uh, original IPROMs here. Uh, so one, uh, I don't think you can see it clearly, but this is an original toast rack room. Uh, I wrote it on the, on the chip with, with pencil. And this is an original Aesthetics Spectrum 48K room, a neck type. Um, so let's uh, let's first um, test up this setup with the original 128K toast rack room. So let's see what this does. And as, you, as I told you, I connected the ZX HD, and for that you have to press reset once, and <laughs> the, the card automatically runs a demo. So don't don't bother about that. So you can see here um, because I connected the DFMC and Joy interface, uh, it boots to 48 Basic in USR zero mode. Uh, which means you can still use, and let's plug in the, the sound as well, you can still use any game which requires 128K. So let's just get a 128K game, for example, well, uh, Rainbow Islands. Well, let's see if that runs. It will take a couple of seconds because it loads all the levels in memory. So there it is. I'm not sure how high the volume is at the moment, so let's check that as well. Oh, this is the wrong remote control, is what you get with several displays. Oh, it's high enough, I think. Alright, let's play this game. And I don't have a joystick connected at this moment. I think it was enter. Yes, it is enter. So that works just fine. And you can see the quality of the ZXHD, which is pixel sharp. Um, but it's just for comparison, it's not for, for the test at this moment. Um, I think it's a bit too loud. So, what I want to show you is that this is the standard setup and if you want to get to 128 basic, well then the easiest thing is just to disconnect the different machine joint interface and then you will get to 128 basic. Let's do another reset so we'll see it on the ZX HD as well. So, 128 basic and here you can use all things like play command and that sort of thing. But for playing games, you don't need 128 basic, you just need um, the setup to be able to run any game. Uh, so this setup will actually do that. Um, but now the question is, will the same things work with an original 48K ROM? So let's grab out the 48K ROM and I did some um, research before uh, just powering it on uh, because I wanted to know if the 48k ROM has the same control signals at the same pins and needs the same um, voltage levels and that sort of thing. Here are the, the details for jump, jumper settings, so jumper 17, jumper 18 and I found out, oh, there goes my backlight. <laughs> anyway, uh, I found out that um, jumper 17 and jumper 18 can be the same with the 48k ROM um, as it, they, they are with the 128k toast rack ROM. So that should be fine. Uh, if I boot this up, you, we should get to 48 basic without any problems at all. Um, there's only one thing that I was doubting a bit and that's because there, the connection to the 48k ROM pin 27, um, which is the, the second ROM select signal on the 48k ROM. Um, you can you cannot configure that on this board. There's no dip switch or jumper for that. Um, but it should be uh, low, low signal or zero, uh, ground or zero volts all the time. 
uh, but it's connected actually to a chip that controls the uh, 128 or 48k ROM in, inside the toast rack ROM. Um, so I wonder if that could be a problem because that signal is not needed on this 48k ROM chip, it should be low all the time. But what happens if it gets high? Um, what will it do? And I'm not sure uh, if that could happen and if it does happen. But we'll find out. Uh, I don't think it will happen because I think it will only happen when you are paging in the 120k ROM inside this toast rack chip. Um, and that's not what we're doing right now. So we're only using the 48k ROM and I don't think there will be any command or any program that will try to control that signal. So I don't think we, we will get into any problem, but let's see what happens. Let's first boot it up without a different and Enjoy. We only use XHD and see what happens. So we're getting 248 basic, just as expected. So now on both screens, nothing uh, special here. Let's try some commands, try some beeping. So that works, no problem at all. Nice colors here, no issue. Alright, um, now the question is, will it run the games as we expect? Um, one side note again, uh, the sound chip on the board is completely independent of the ROM type. So the sound should be available all the time. The three channel sound chip, the AY38912 a uh, chip uh, is available at all times. So uh, it only depends on if the game uses something else than the 48K ROM. And, um, well, there are several arguments for saying that it's not the case, because, for example, when you're using the FMC and Joy interface, you will only use 48 Basic in user zero mode, uh, which, by the way, means that you have um, um, access to all the RAM on the, on the board all the time, and, uh, and you can page it in and out, and, uh, okay. So let's power on the system and see what happens. And this happens, and that is no good, of course. So it's trying to read something from the ROM. You can tell by uh, by what's shown on the screen. This is just the firmware from the ZXG, so it doesn't do anything. Resetting doesn't help in, in any way. Uh, so I guess that could be that signal that I was just talking about. Um, so what I think I want to do about that is connect that pin, pin 27 of this 48K ROM, to ground all the time, and what is ground on the chip? It's pin 14, so it's that, that pin here. So let's just do that um, and come back and see if that helps. So uh, here I'm back again, and as you can see here, I mounted a small wire uh, from pin 14 to pin 27, and I bent pin 27 outwards, so it won't be in the socket because um, otherwise we really get we'll get some strange things going on here. So I put it in again, um, and what I think what happened is that DFMC pages in uh, the upper ROM area in the toaster chip that it expects, um, but uh, that actually pages out this 48K ROM, um, so that won't work. Uh, let's see what happens if we do it this way. Ah, that's better. So now we're getting... Standard. Oh, this is the demo again. <laughs> Sorry for that. <laughs> so now we're getting 48k basic again, um, and that's what we expected. So I think if you want to use the original 48k as spectrum ROM, you need to do that modification. It's a small modification. I will describe it in the, the Harkin documents and on my website and on Facebook. Uh, and of course, before concluding anything, let's check if the game, such as Rainbow Islands, still works, because we want to know if. Um, if that still can use all the memory and a white chip. Ah, that's good. Okay, if I was uh, thinking what it's doing, but anyway. Alright, let's press enter. Our space. I'm still confused all, all, all the time with this game. Yes, I pressed enter and let's see what happens. Oh, let us pause, sorry. Alright, so, load stop just fine again. Uh, okay, that was a rainbow, but I don't know how to move. Works, let's test some other games then, like Renegade, the version with 120k support, uh, play the game. It's loading all the levels again. I like the tune. 
Okay, define keys, that will help. Left, right, oh, down. Oh, it says down. Okay, let's do it again. Define keys, left, right, down, up, hit, and pause. And keyboard. At least we can define keys here. Get down. For testing, dark man, it's cool intro. Cool uh, graphics here. I'm not sure what I like more because composite video just washes out the graphics bit, which looks awesome. Okay, this works as well, including the sound, it's a bit silent, but I think you can hear it. It works like a treat as well. Um, so I think uh, we can conclude that this um, solution is just great with um, the MC or without. But okay. This works just fine. Uh, what happens if you... Uh, oh, I think we tested it already. Uh, what happens if you go to 48k basic? Well, you just get 48k basic, you know. Nothing special here. Oh, it will not work. So just 48k basic. Let's reset it for the sake of the HDMI output. Okay, um, so that's all just fine. So let's uh, get to conclusions then. Okay, uh, so if you want to use an original toast rack ROM, or you want to use a cheaper and easier to obtain 40k ROM, uh, you can both use them and, and it will just work just fine with uh, games and, uh, and yeah, I think uh, most most stuff that people do with ZX Spectrums these days. Um, there are not many people I think that will use 128 basic a lot, uh, only if you want to use uh, the play command or some other things uh, that are um, only available in 128 basic. But anyway, uh, this is a good way of completing a Harakin 128K board with a 48K original ZX Spectrum ROM, which will work just fine with all games you can imagine. So if you want to do that, and you want to build your own ZX Spectrum or obtain a complete assembled Harakin kit, I can do this for you, no problem at all. They're all available at ZX Spectrum the shop, and including the accessories like RGB cables, power supplies, uh, cases even, and original ZX Spectrum ROMs, either the 48K or the 128K Toastrack ROM. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Subscribe. Head over to ZX Spectrum .shop to buy brand new add ons for your ZX Spectrum. Lots of different products are available. For example, the ZXHD HDMI interface, or the DFMC Enjoy Pro 1 SD card interface, and lots more. Set the currency preference to British Pounds or Euro, and check out easily. Also found on our website are links to our Facebook page with weekly updates of all kinds of ongoing projects. And of course, do subscribe to our YouTube channel with lots of reviews and the Bytelite weekly show episodes.